They will not take chances because it will leak. It will leak. Why is why Justice Salam is still hanging in the still hanging in the balance? If it's not interference. It, it, look, Ribadu now they were out of rubbish. Okupe came to but Ribadu I I recovered three point two billion or five point eight billion old Nigeria for royalties. Well, now if the rubbish is reported, are you going to refund this money to the people for me you got it? But now prof now that uh, uh, this comment is uh, ascribed to the president, oil subsidy must go. Uh, Nigerians definitely will not want to listen to that because it will pitch Nigerians against the authorities and we may just find ourselves back in square one. And then they talk about different probes, probing subsidy, which you say does not exist as a fraud. What should we do? What can be the way out of all of this quagmire? The way out, Nigeria to know their rights and exert their rights. If you're a coward, you cannot fight for change. Nigeria should have freedom from fear. If I use that, you use uh, the great American uh, president phrase. If you want to change the system for better, for the better, you must first know that you are taking risk. Are you prepared to take risk in the interest of the collectivity? Are you, are you, are you viable? A lot of millions are flying. And I'm, I'm sorry to say that even in, among intellectuals, some intellectuals have been compromised with money. And I know this. And you know I know some of them. There are some that cannot be bought. I'm not being self-righteous. There are many, many, many millions of Nigerians better than myself in terms of this. But no government can buy me. No money in the world can stop me. And no government can stop me from expressing my views, which I know is better than Nigeria. And if you are fighting, you are not fighting me. I don't talk to the press without praying to God to guide me. And I've been vindicated 100 times that my book is coming and I could my vindications. Yeah. All this, Nigeria is a very easy country to govern. Because Nigerians are good people. We don't have organized mafia here. But mafia is that studying in the oil industry. You can be stamped out if you have a good leader, for goodness sake. Is that actually correct when we talk about cabals? Uh, that is correct. It's yeah. cabals. And some of these the cabals, I have, I have photographs to show. Some of these cabals are so generous to coronate uh, the president with full page advertisements. Congratulations, Mr. President, for being a good president. Congratulations for your birthday. There are cabals. Question. I asked this when we were doing Vision 2010. Please tell me, gentlemen and Mr. Chairman, why is it that all what we are talking about now didn't happen in 1984, Why? Why? Because, look, I'm a fisherman. If I, I mothers go to the market to buy fish, fresh fish, they open the gills. If the gills are great, they don't bite. When the head is rotten, the body is rotten. If the gills are red, they bite because the fish is good. Yeah. When the head is rotten, the body must be rotten. If you are a good leader, Nigeria will fall in place. The very simple is this country to, run, to, to, to govern. But, but if you look at it quite frankly, you know, there's always been this talk about uh, governments uh, before now, especially military government, which you also served in. Yes. Uh, don't you think that they were the architects of all what we're going through now? No. Don't blame the military for anything. Don't blame the military. It's an alibi. The military has stayed long enough. That's why we have. Uh, the military has stayed long enough. 1914, uh, the girl made a mistake. From 1914 to now, how many years? How many years? century. You are still talking about the girl. We have been independent for 52 years. You are still talking about colonial masters. We are always fighting with the past. We are not fighting the past. The moment Nigerians have to fight the past, we can go forward. Alibas, alibas, alibas. Alibas, alibas. Ribadu is a great man living, Farouk. And there's nothing that they would say about Ribadu or Farouk that would make change my mind about them in terms of integrity. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So if we get your point right, accountability yes. is at the root Accountability, transparency. Problem. That's the root of it. And the root of it is that when people love themselves more than Nigeria, when I was in Burma prison, locked up, for life sentence because I received research. I couldn't them. I didn't receive any research. It's a lie. I want the, I want the appeal anyway. Idea came to me, what I call accountability quotient. 
a public officer must ask himself, are you for using your office? Are you gaining more than you are putting to Nigeria? What you do to Nigeria is divided by what you do for yourself, accountability quotient. There's no accountability, there's no transparency. Stealing the public post is now a common pastime until the great Sheikh 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 Musa Kolis quote him said in Nigeria, it's not only that officials are corrupt, but that corruption is official. Sheikh Musa says he published. I have the copy. Say in Nigeria, it's not only that officials are corrupt, but corruption is official. Nigeria official corruption has gone in the crescendo. This is the worst time ever. You know, this talk about oil blocks, uh, how, how has it been managed? Uh, Listen, that's another fraud. Look, oil, oil blocks, that is the life of the oil industry. Now, oil blocks are, 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 are awarded anyhow. I have, I have a paper in my house in Ibadan. Don't you have one? Because uh, I think the story is that every minister or anyone who's been in government I always has one. So I challenge any person, as any federal government of Nigeria, to use all the intelligence they have in the world. By the time the West has even been interested in oil block. If we want oil oil companies uh, advertise for I don't have one share in any oil company. I refuse to. But this is my right. I know that being a social critic focus, mm. if even they gave me one thousand shares, mm. they say it's because, because it's oil, oil minister. I have no share in any oil company. I have no oil block, I'm not interested. I've not even considered it. But I have a document in my house in Ibadan where Jubilamino said he gave oil block to a particular Nigerian without reference to the president. I said, either the president is careless or you are lying. How can you give the wealth of Nigeria to somebody without knowledge of president? I cannot even award oil contract without approval of my president. So everything, I, has been, everything has been bastardized. Mm -hmm. And until we come around to sanity, that what is happening is insanity. Until we come to sanity, this economy will not go on. And I've said any government that manages the Nigerian oil industry poorly is not fit to be there. So as, as things are now, mm -hmm. you're saying that we can completely stamp out corruption? We can. We can completely stamp out corruption for two reasons. First, we are working from good, plant, good soil. Nigerians generally hate corruption. That's why they expose a lot of corrupt people to me as a, an individual. And if Nigerians know that you can fight for them, they'll give you a lot of information free of charge. That's a, that was the strength of my friend, Professor Ojo Okay. What's the title of the book that uh, well, okay. is going to come out now? Now, this uh, macroeconomic approach to external debt by Professor S. E. B. Ajayi, Professor of Economics in the Burden. Mm -hmm. It was 78 page book or monograph he presented to he presented to the african economic consortium 1991 that all the progress of external debt was listed sorry for 18 billion and he said there pointed the other building matter in the west said the economy was best managed during the time of jiram go and take the go and take it and read go to the library it's there all right Okay then, uh, we we'll have to thank you very much indeed for coming on this morning. Mm -hmm. Professor Tam David West is a former Minister of Petroleum Resources and we've been talking about the oil sector. Well, back in just a moment, everyone. Please join us again.